There is no doubt that leaving the Twin Lakes, Colorado area is going to be tough. This was the perfect combination of boondocking van lifestyle and some epic hiking trails. This is exactly what me and Missy look for in our wilderness experiences. With that being said, it is time to push on. There's a lot more to see. We have broke down camp. We're gonna hit the road and head to Leadville, uh, Colorado, uh, which is I think 30 or 40 minutes from here. It's only like 12 miles, but we're in the middle of the mountains. Yeah. And uh, probably not get Melanzanas if you're familiar at all. If you're not, no big deal. But a very crazy little outdoor clothing store there. But we're gonna go to the store and see. Just walk in and see. It might just happen. We'll get lucky. But usually it's it doesn't work that way. Stay tuned. This. Yeah store is crazy they don't sell online you have to make appointments but yeah. uh, it's in the city of Leadville so we're gonna take a look it's a beautiful little town and then uh, figure out our next move but for now we're on the road welcome to the beautiful city of Leadville this place is a quaint amazing little mountain town yeah we have uh, attempted to come through here a couple times mostly as I pre-mentioned to go through Melanzana and get me a little outdoor hoodie mm -hmm. however the world didn't work. They were shut down once. Yep. Uh, attempted to come through through COVID, yep. and then the last time they had switched to a scheduling. Yeah, appointment yeah. only. Well, Melanzana hates us. Yeah. Now, fast forward a couple of years, and I have an amazing hoodie uh, from Appalachian Gear Company, uh, Apco Gear, and uh, it's made out of alpaca. The thing is amazing. I have an amazing hoodie through Lightheart Gear. Mm -hmm. Their their equipment is great. It is micro fleece as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't really need one. Missy's a little up in the air. I um, kind of need one, but I don't know if we're gonna get one. So it's weird. They they don't really sell them. They open at ten, and there's a line, and then you all get in there, and then they might have them ready that they bring out, and you might have to wait for four hours for them to do it, or all day. And it's appointment based only. It's crazy. All right, so remember what we we're saying about Melanzana and how you get one? Check this out. After book an appointment, the next appointment is February. It is September. It just turned September. Oh, right, yeah. just go look at them and drool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> like everybody else, we're crazy sitting here, yeah. waiting in line at Melanzana because whatever marketing they're not doing is working. <laughs> Blur flying. We'll talk to you later. Missy getting crazy. Running around like the running of the bulls. Well, after all of that making fun of and people waiting in line, yeah. Missy's got some news. I do. Ta da! I got a Melly. And they even put it in a little pouchy thing. Isn't it? Isn't it cute? They put their overstocks out. It doesn't happen every day. Sometimes you gotta wait four or five hours. Sometimes there's zero all day long. Um, it looks like uh, a little bot's luck, which doesn't seem to be happening all that much these days, uh, came through for us. And they had uh, probably, I'd say 20 to 30 of them out there. I even got a matching hat. Melinda. Uh, and about 15 people in line. So everybody rushes in like Black Friday. It's Black Friday every day there. Uh, and uh, we got Missy a beanie uh, and a Melly hoodie, so she is one happy cat. Yay! I'm set! It's so soft, you guys! Oh my gosh! And it awesome. fits perfect! Really nice town. If you are ever in this greater area, I highly recommend it. Um, the drive really isn't bad once you're in, if you're in the Rockies to get all around here. Uh, beautiful town, a lot of history, uh, quite a few museums, and uh, yeah, good stuff. We're gonna eat, probably walk around a little bit and see what we can find and then, and then go from there. So we'll be back. Avocados taste good. And they're a little disgusting to work with. Missy's little Mediterranean avocado toast is to die for. It is really yummy. There you go. Help, help again. Oh God. <laughs> you guys see that? That's hilarious. <laughs> of course it had to land you know the avocado side down so we're gonna have a oily floor 
They're so dang oily. Don't drop avocado <laughs> in your van. Lemon juice, chickpeas, please. And welcome to Missy's Mediterranean Avocado Toast. Bread version. Yeah, usually usually it's toasted. I like the toast better. It gives it a little bit of crunch, but we don't have a toaster. But Maybe. that might be changing. And we're going to add some chickpeas for protein and then some lemon juice. And that rounds it out. And they absolutely taste delicious. So we're going to have lunch and then continue to walk around. Amazing downtown as Missy jumps out of the picture. But look, look at, at that view. view. Guys, look behind us. That is amazing. Missy's just identified there's two metaphysical stores here. <laughs> Rock shops, yay! My favorite. You know what we're gonna be doing next? You know it. Metaphysical store number one. Exchange. Well, it's just a matter of time before we found our way in here. <laughs> Melanzana check, as you can see here. Crystals check. <laughs> and now time for crystals. And this is pre-night with Epidote in it. And this one, see that any pretty? And then this is sodalite, a nice pretty palm stone. It's time for Missy to geek out. That's right, my favorite. Ooh, I just love them. Well, Leadville will definitely be one that we add onto the list to come back to. Um, the good news is, looks like I found a brewery. Um, so we're gonna walk down to, I think it might be Two Mile Brewery, I'm not quite sure. Um, we're gonna walk down, stop in, and hopefully get a flight, because that's what we do here at Traveling Outside the Box. Enjoying the hell out of this city. Uh, it's going to be weird leaving Colorado already, but we'll be back, and uh, let's go get a beer. There we go. Two Mile Brewing, beer time. I got the porter, and Missy got the... Mango, passion, orange, guava, kettle sour. It's a hell of a name. Passion fruit. Yeah. Cheers. It has been plenty of fun, Leadville, but we are going to head out. Yep. Um, go down Highway 24, hit that beautiful I-70, see how steep we can get, <laughs> and, uh, and hit the road here. Yeah. Definitely a good spot. Highly recommend it. Yeah. If you're in the area, go to Leadville. It's a really fun town. Absolutely stunning. interesting. Missy had to back me in. We're not used to getting into a parking garage with uh, with Eddie. How was that for you, miss? That was fun. So we have already walked into the wrong resort after parking Eddie. I just blindly follow this one. You'd think I'd learn.